Welcome to 30 Days of Photoshop. Today, we're removing distractions from your photos. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's video, we're gonna show you a quick and easy way you can use to remove any distraction from your photo. We got a great tutorial for you. Let's jump into Photoshop. So here's our sample image. You can actually download and follow along. Just click on the link right down below. Now, we wanna remove some distractions here. We've got all these like poles and a fence and things like that. And wouldn't this just be nicer if all that stuff was gone? So the first thing we need to do is create a new layer and we're gonna grab our spot healing brush tool. So in our arsenal of removing distractions, this is our number one tool. The first tool you should always grab is your spot healing brush tool. Now. If this tool doesn't do a perfect job, then you can move to the clone stamp tool and we'll show you how to do that later in this episode. So our spot healing brush tool, the options up at the very top, you wanna make sure your mode is set to normal and your type, you wanna set content aware and then be sure you're clicked on sample all layers. That's gonna allow you to use a new layer, which is non-destructive, meaning you can turn this off and on at any time. So uh, let's go ahead and start this process off. It's actually incredibly simple. Just simply paint over the area you want gone and Photoshop uses the rest of the image to figure out what it should actually be filling in that place. And you can see, I'm just using a mouse here. There's no, you know, no real fancy technique going on. I'm simply just painting right over the object I want gone and Photoshop pretty much figures out the rest. Now, as we get a little bit more complicated here, these are some of the times when it gets a little bit tricky and you might find like the tool might do a, gr a good job, but sometimes it definitely leaves a little bit of an area where it's like, nah, that's not exactly perfect. Not exactly what I was thinking. Um, my suggestions there are to simply try to do smaller areas. So instead of trying to do a large area at a time, maybe do smaller areas. And there we go. You can always go back and clean things up with tools like the clone stamp tool, which we're gonna show you how to do in just a few minutes. So I'm gonna come bring this on down here. I want all of this gone. I want no, no evidence that this thing was here, right? <laughs> Remove it completely, please. There we go. And let's get that gone. And then this same thing here with this other uh, little bit of fence. Fantastic. I'm actually gonna make my brush a little bit harder. You can right click and change the hardness. If you find like you, if the edge is a little bit too soft and it's not looking super realistic, try just bringing your brush, your spot healing brush a little bit harder. Now here in this case, it's kind of obvious that something was removed there. So I'm just gonna kind of paint over it again in a couple of places. There we go, going left to right now instead of up and down. There we go. And oftentimes that's all you need to do. Beautiful, it's working pretty well. That's all you need to do in order to fix things is just like go over it again. All right, here we go. And moving on this way. And obviously the more simple the background is, the better this tool is gonna do. All right, we've got a little bit of chain link fence right there, a little bit here. Now, while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this piece of reflective tape from the jacket because I just thought it was like a little bit distracting. All right, and let's just remove that there. Fantastic, and look at that. Really, without taking much time at all, we were able to remove all of those distractions. Ah, what a difference, what a great difference. Now, let's go ahead and say there are some areas where this tool is just like not doing a perfect job. That's when it's time to bring in your clone stamp tool because the clone stamp tool, it's not like figuring out where it should be the best fill in. You're actually gonna choose that yourself. So that's a positive in the fact that you have more control. It can be a negative because it takes a little bit of time and effort. But in this case, if the spot healing brush tool doesn't do a perfect job in some places, that's when you start to bring in the clone stamp tool. So let's go ahead and create a new layer. I'm gonna hit S for the clone stamp tool. Now here in our settings, you wanna make sure you're on mode is normal and you wanna make sure you're sampling current and below. That's gonna sample this layer and anything under it. And that's what allows me to do this on a new layer. So in this case, you can see our horizon isn't exactly perfect, like this dark line should continue all the way to the edge. So what we're gonna do is let's make our brush a little bit softer here. You can right click and change your hardness if you want. There we go. 
you can hold Alt or Option to sample an area. So in this case, let's hold Alt or Option. I'm gonna sample right here, and then I'm gonna see a little preview of where I'm gonna paint, okay? So it's very easy to line things up. And in this case, it's, you know, let me just sample right over here, and I can line things up and simply paint right to the very edge, and look at that. Very easily, I'm able to extend the landscape in a very organic and natural way. Okay, that's looking really good there. Now, if you need things to fade a little bit, there we go, you can do that simply by lowering the flow of your clone stamp. So you can use this flow uh, right up here at the top, or you can just hold shift and use the numbers one through 10 on the top of your keyboard. And there we go. Let's go ahead and bring that in. And in this case, I just wanna clean this up a little bit. The spot healing brush tool all in all does a great job, but every now and then, you get some areas that are pretty obvious that something has been healed away and you just wanna make sure you can go in there and clean everything up. In this case, we're gonna do the same thing. Fantastic. Just clean it up and you have a lot more control over how things wind up looking with the clone stamp tool. Especially if you use a low flow because then you can, you can choose how much or how little clone stamping you actually want. All right, well, check that out. Just on the right-hand side, you can see it was a little bit, just a little bit jagged and a little bit like nondescript. You could tell something was going on, but after a little bit of work with the clone stamp tool, it fixed it right up. So all in all, pretty dang easy to do. Here's our before and the after, removing the distractions and just really making this a very different photograph. I can actually see a little bit here on the bottom. Some of this is still kind of visible. Uh, you know, from the original line there. While the spot healing brush tool did a decent job getting rid of it, it's kind of obvious that something like was removed there. So there's kind of like a dark line there. So here we just go in with our clone stamp tool. There we go. We make sure we can just clone stamp. And if anything looks like it's repeating over and over again, no big deal. Just sample another area and paint right over it. You're good to go. Fantastic. So. There we are, there's our before and the after. <laughs> what a big difference that made on this image. And it only takes a couple of minutes to remove distractions. So my advice is always start off with the spot healing brush tool. And if you need to do any cleanup after that, go ahead and grab your clone stamp tool. Be sure to always do this on new layers so you can turn these off and on at any time and make sure it's non-destructive. Thank you so much for watching. We're about halfway through our 30 days of Photoshop. If you're enjoying this series so far, be sure to join the series. It's absolutely free. You can click right down below to do so. You're gonna get a calendar with upcoming episodes. You'll get all the images so you can follow along with the tutorials and some bonus assets that are only available when you join 30 days of Photoshop, absolutely free. Thanks again, and I'll flirt you later. Bye everyone.